Susie, you whore. <laughs> Where are my jokes? It's a magical night tonight. Hopefully Joe Vulpus and David use this opportunity to come out of the closet. We all know you guys are gay. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no way Madison Beer is not your type, David. <laughs> Jason, it's incredible you got us all in this room tonight, under the same roof. The only other night you'll probably be able to do this is at your funeral. <laughs> so in a couple weeks. Matt King is here tonight, unfortunately. Right there next to Jeff Epstein. <laughs> What's up, Mike Shepard? I don't give a f how many times that joke gets me canceled. I'm gonna keep on making it. You resemble him. You look just like him. I heard Matt and Mike are gonna open a Chuck E. Cheese together. Cause Matt's a rat and Mike likes to be around kids. <laughs> Speaking of perverts, tonight's about Jason. Just kidding you old f I'll get to you in a second. First I wanna talk about my boy Todd. All you kids at home watching this probably idolize David for whatever reasons. But Todd's the one that nailed every girl in this room. What are you laughing at, Heath? You know I didn't tell you yet? I mean, yeah, Todd's an idiot. But at least he's nice to look at. Could be a lot worse. You could be an idiot and an ugly piece of shit. Right, Jonah? I'll say this. If any young, talented kids out there are hoping to make it in this town, just give up, because if Jonah made it, it doesn't make any sense. Just give up, because if Jonah made it, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Jonah's making more money than his parents will in 10 lifetimes. But he still dresses like a 10-year-old kid that got lost in Disneyland. And Jason looks like a parent that lost a 10-year-old kid at Disneyland. <laughs> Jason is so old that when we mention TikTok, he thinks we're talking about his pacemaker. <laughs> I'm kidding, Jason actually works very hard on his videos. That's what makes it so much more embarrassing. <laughs> They're so long and hard to watch. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say about you, Jason. You already do such a good job in embarrassing yourself. Since, since these things usually end with a sincere, nice ending, I'll say that Jason gave me my first shot at doing stand-up after watching him fail over and over again and still being able to make a life out of it. I guess this means as long as you have a bunch of good-looking, talented, rich friends, you'll be alright.